Well, today marked the start of a lot of cleanup and assessment of storm damage for Central Texas. In fact, one local city decided to go as far as declaring a state of local disaster. The city of Bartlett says it comes after Sunday storms brought flash flooding, damaging homes, businesses and streets. Tonight we hear from one Bartlett business owner who took the brunt of the flooding. There was some significant water here yesterday. Yeah, all of the water from all of town converged right here. Today, Jennifer Tucker stands on the site of her business, Bartlett Lumberyard. Trying to figure out what we're going to do in terms of getting this remodel and this restoration work done. She's now dealing with the devastating effects of Sunday storms bringing flash flooding and issues to the culverts surrounding her property. And because all the drains were completely blocked, all the water met right here at the lumberyard and flooded all of our back cabins and our tenants were displaced. Bartlett's administrator Myra Cantu says Sunday's five inches of rain did put pressure on the infrastructure. We have an older system here, so a lot of the drainage is mainly detention based. So often what happens is when we get that much rain, things start to wash away and then they'll block culverts and then essentially back up a lot of the water onto properties. It's part of the reason why the city of Bartlett declared a state of local disaster. Mainly to one, be able to position us in a way where if there is any funding that comes available for us, it's how can we best position the citizens of Bartlett, but then also the city. Um, we have several plans in progress right now, but the more that we can work on the drainage within town, the better. But for business owners like Tucker, I still have immediate damages that need to be addressed and my poor tenants have damages that need to be addressed. And so although I appreciate that, I need something that's going to take care of things immediately. She needs action now to avoid rushing water surrounding the property and three inches of water inside the cabins. Being able to put everything back together and make this a place for the community to come back to is important for us. Well, the city of Bartlett is asking residents to report any possible blocked culverts so crews can come by and clear those up. They are also reportedly trying to dig more channels to help the flow of water throughout the city.